Right, ladies and gents, this is the official trailer for Demonic. Bloody trailer, trailer for days coming out today, isn't it? So we had a teaser before, not a, an actual proper trailer. So this will be really interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching this and kind of seeing what this is about. This is Neil Blomkamp's movie that he shot in lockdown. So let's check it out, shall we? Let's dive into it. I'm really looking forward to this as a film. Do you know what this place is? Wow, it's full on enough. Your mother Angela, she's our patient. I've been out of touch with her for a very long time. Oh my god. Her mind is very active in the simulation. Simulation? She went on a homicidal rampage. This is your chance to ask her why. Love that effect. That's great. Carly, you have to go. You have to go. Guys, please let me out. Can you hear me? You have to go. Guys! What are we doing? No, 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 no. Just, just wait. Are you sure that you haven't been having any hallucinations outside of the simulation? Yes. Reality, yes. Ooh. Demonic possession. It could be real. I can't do this. You won't end up like your mother. Vatican has been funding a black ops unit. He's increased like soldiers. Now that it's free, it won't stop coming for you. Tell you what, what a bloody good trailer that was. It is really a play on like what is what is real, what's not. That was great. I love the effects that they have in this film. Like this is amazing. Look at it. Like that is so well done. Ah, oh, it's so good. So. It looks, so here's my, my hot prediction, my guess from watching this. She goes in, obviously it's a play on reality and what's actually happening and what's not. She goes in, her mother went on a homicidal rampage. Her mother was possessed. The demon's in her mind. They make a connection. The demon is now connected to the daughter, I'm assuming. Um, but then there's something like once you've set it free... It won't stop coming for you or something like that. Once it's out. And then what I assume is just going to keep coming for them. I've never heard of IFC films before this. I tell you what, they're doing really well with this film. With Neil Blomkamp. Like, 100%. It's so well shot. Like, this is just... Ex Look at the colours. It's so well done. These effects are amazing. I don't know what what is that? And this is this demonic possession thing. It's like a bird monster. It's so well made. I mean it looks horrendous. It looks awful, like awfully you know, like it's visceral, isn't it? Therapole. Yeah, like these shots are again it's all really well shot. I really like the way Neil Blomkamp shoots his films. I think they've all looked good. And I was gonna say this whilst it was running in the trailer. I really like how Neil Blomkamp normalizes uh, sort of alternative styles, right? Like you've got a doctor here with tattoos all over himself. Now you wouldn't it's not and I'm only saying it because it's not normal 
it's not normal in Hollywood films. They don't do that. Now, obviously, this is you know it isn't how the actor looks himself, but they've done that and they're trying to normalise because it is normal, isn't it? That is what people have. You know, Hollywood puts on a, a gleam and a sheen on stuff, um, which prevents you from sort of normalising that behaviour. And I think no, that's good. Um, that they've done really well on the, the 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 prosthesis that they've got all over the face. Really well made. It's just so awful. Like it looks horrendous. Ah, oh, God, look at that. Oh, if you've ever met anyone that's done stuff like that, like it look that looks real. You know, went on a homicidal rampage, killed people, cut herself up, goes in. A good casting of the daughter and the mother. I think they did really well with that as well. I love this. This effect is so well done. Like it looks like a looks like a world. It's just like you have to get out, you have to get out. And they're watching, and then this happens, and this is this sort of me thinking it's the demonic possession side of it. I, I do like Neil Blomkamp. He just hasn't had a chance to really do that much yet. Not properly. Oh, this is so well made. And they're talking about have you had any hallucinations outside of the simulation? And this is where we start to see it again. Like, and it is, it's this sort of demon bird thing. And they're blending real and simulation there. Like the flashes, I thought I saw something behind her on the flashes, but I didn't. Like look at this, and you see it cuts his own arm, and then that comes out into the real world. And it is, it's this sort of, I mean that's, that's an amazing effect. It looks horrendous. Like if it can make you sort of physically squirm a little bit, that's when you they've nailed it. I like then that this is obviously the monster, right? Which is a bit of a shame that they that they've revealed it here. I hope that there's more to it because if they've just done this here and this is the only monster in the whole film, that's really shit. Whoever cut this film trailer together needs a slap in the face because if they've just revealed it there. And that's the only monster in this film. There's no change. There's no alternate forms or anything like that. That's garbage. That's super lame. This is funny. The Vatican of a covert black ops team fighting demonic possession. I like that. How cool is that? And this was the monster there as well. Look. Or is it a person? I don't know. Is it like two of her? What was that? So she gets smashed in there by a dude. But then this look looks to be wearing the same outfit that she has. It looks really good. Bottom line, it looks really decent. That was good as well. What a good shot that is. Like, is that their soul being pulled out? Look at that. Or is that the demonic possession? Or oh, it could be. I like it. I think it looks great. You got that bird monster there. Oh no, it's not. It it does. It looks. I I hate this. I said this in another trailer today. Malignant. I hate it when they get people to walk upside down. I just think it's so fucking lame. It's not scary. Stop doing it. Anyway, love the look of that. What do you guys think? Is he back? Is Blonde Camp back? Let me know. Cheers. Take care.